Another beach ball to show off today. Um, at first glance, this you might think, hey, that's the same one you did in the first video with five stripes, but this has six different colored stripes on it. Um, all of the stripes meet at a different vertex on the surface of the sphere. When I had five stripes meeting, or ten stripes, when I split those up in two, they were all meeting at one to the pentagon, pentagonal faces, or conjunction points. But now, if I want six um, sides, they have to meet at a vertex that is surrounded by an equilateral triangle, which you can probably make out here in the light, I think, right here. So I can split that equilateral triangle up into six equal angles, and those stripes span the whole sphere to the other side, where there is another equilateral triangle on the polar opposite, where they all meet. Um, I could, of course, and will later um, split or join these colors so that instead of six stripes, I could have just three very broad, very fat stripes. Of course, as I get fewer and fewer stripes, the stripes will become wider because they're having to encircle the same spherical vertex. Um, but uh, so the, the five stripes on the Pentagon, penta or five stripes on the five loon beach ball were a little bit wider than this. Uh, I do six uh, right now. Um, I'll eventually get to three, but I'll also be able to do four stripes in a later video because you can see that uh, there's a, a diamond shape here, a rhombus shape here that is split in half, cut two by two, so I can put four stripes um, of different colors. And of course I could just do two stripes, but that would just be two hemispheres, which I've already done in a previous video. So anyway, showing off all the different geometries here and all the various divisors and the vertices that are split up into equal angles, but different numbers of equal angles depending on which vertex you are looking at.